Hi everyone, I'm Emily and today I am very honored and excited because we have Amy Hart with us who's a GoDaddy customer and we're going to be doing some really fun things with Amy. Tell us first a little bit about what you do. I'm a life coach working with moms who are looking to find their new identity. That's awesome. Now in terms of your website, mm -hmm. where exactly are you right now? What's the current state and what are you really looking to do with it in the future? Yeah, so my website is a constant uh, work in progress and Should at, be. yes, so I'm constantly revamping my material, the text that I have in there and my next phase is getting to the point where it pulls up on Google search engines. Gotcha. Yeah. Awesome. This is a common story. We hear this a lot and you're in the right place. I'm super stoked because we're going to do some keyword discovery that's going to help you with how you're performing on search engines and your rankings. So okay. we're going to get into that right now. Are you ready? Yeah. Awesome. Great. Let's get started. So the first step is a little bit a keyword discovery and we're going to do that by building what's known as a keyword seed list. Okay. Which is any and every, it's a total collection of any and ever, every keyword or phrase that you can think of that someone might use to describe your business. Yeah, if it sounds a little overwhelming. Yeah, it sounds really overwhelming. It, it is, and it should be a big list. It should be an exhaustive list. But what we're gonna do with you is show you how to make it a little bit easier by separating keywords in your seed list into three primary categories. A spreadsheet is gonna be your best friend here. If you wanna get fancy, you know, get some color-coded post-it notes and put them on a whiteboard. But really easy, just start with basic spreadsheet, three categories. So three columns. Okay. The first is business and industry keywords. Okay. Things that are related to what you do, your industry. Then we're gonna take a look at some target audience keywords. So what are the people who you serve? What are they looking for? What do they need? What are they like? Sure. Where do they hang out? Things like that. And then also competitor keywords. We need to pay attention to what people that are also doing what you're doing and maybe have been doing it longer or are at the top, mm -hmm. what they're doing as well. Okay. So it's pretty basic, even though it sounds probably a little overwhelming. <laughs> it's still pretty basic. <laughs> okay. But trust me, having a keyword seed list and dividing them up like this is really gonna benefit your efforts in the long run. Terrific. So, ready okay. to get started? Let's do it. Awesome, let's 